Honestly, the big turnarounds have been the biggest hype for me. Like, the fact that you could see, like, a scenario going one way, and then right at game three, just turn around completely. And yeah. then all of a sudden, the other wins. Yeah, just ex outstanding explosions. <laughs> so here we go. We're getting whiskey versus Peru. We're gonna be seeing. We're gonna be seeing the Sora versus the Duck Hunt. So again, I haven't seen much of Sora because of how new of a character they are. I mean, we do see them, but it's one of those things where I don't really, <laughs> I don't have enough new data. To the character really does kind of play a little bit the hands of competing though yeah i just don't have enough data of what this character does well or doesn't do well i mean at least with like the other dlc characters there's been enough time we'll have to see but i mean the character is really floaty i do see them struggle to kill at times but they also I, just they they have kind of the wobbling and their their magic is really good it, it's it's a combination i've been hearing that their movement is like one yeah. of the top parts of being a top perks of being Sora. Yeah, like you sure. have really full control of where you want to move as a character and where you can put your opponent. But in terms of power, uh, that's where they're uh, suffering a little bit, I think. Yeah. Oh, again, the double. And there's the back air. Does not kill, but it is damage for sure. And explosions. And. Every time I see these clay pigeon traits, it's just ridiculous. If Sora has no problem going off stage, like, not at all. We on Thundaga is quite impressive. Alright. I'm gonna just knock the can away, tries to get him, does not get it. One thing, Sora is a little bit slow on the ground. Like, for them to run up at you, it's not that terrifying. Oh, but gets all the way out there. Seem like that they're a little slow, but considering how many fast characters there are in the game, it's yeah. definitely slower than average. For sure. Like this though, Peru doing really good work here. Can go all the way down. Wait, Page and still got through. Wow. That was an interesting grab. Oh, but he gets caught under the stage. That's unfortunate. So, that is the one weird thing about PS2 about having that center pillar, and sometimes you can just get caught. It is, it is an unfortunate. Like, people love this stage, but that is one thing that people just forget exists. Big issue. Yep. Remind, it reminds me of all the shenanigans that Lilac Cruise has. Yeah, it can, from time to time. I have to say, Sora is quite lucky for still having uh, Kingdom Hearts 1 uh, Piraga and Kingdom Hearts 2 Blizzaga yeah. rather than the other way around. Yeah, it's funny. Oh, nice hits. Whoop, and there's the back air. Tries to go for the downer on the can. Oh my god. Almost catching that tech going in. down to the bottom of the stage. Almost catching that tech in. Not gonna do it though. Had a smash for the kill for sure. Not looking too good here for Whiskey. But yeah, Sora's really slippery. Like, it's actually kind of difficult to mess with him at the ledge. And there we go. The duck says, get out of here. They say about six legs. Six legs is better than two legs, right? Six legs is indeed better than two legs. <laughs> Game one going to Peru here. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff.
I don't think I've ever heard this Wario song, funny enough. Really? There's quite often whenever I'm plotting WarioWare stage. <laughs> Alright, switch to the Robin. Let's do it. Sticking with it here. Three, two, one, go! Got a lot of ground play going here. And now this this is now you're seeing a total transformation as to what this matchup is. So many projectiles and explosions. And Duck Hunt has to find a way in. Whiskey looking really good right now. Grab Clank. Sword gonna come out of clutch. Send the clay pigeon. Playing like the battle mage style can easily get in. Close as well oh, as far away. Just, so. just the attacks just start doing so much damage. Burned that guy's hat up. Yeah, it's oh, nice. Nice. Oh, tried to connect, was not able to. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I mean, a big lightning bolt to your face. I mean, that really won't do anyone any good. No, it won't. <laughs> Just like that, we have about an even game again. Oh my gosh, that back girl is connected too, but the up smash is going to take it. Putting Duck Hunt back in the lead. Uh-oh. Well, can in the face. <laughs> Get a little bit of damage off. Whoop. That's it. Yeah, Mo Mo's getting a lot of extra credit here. Double play page, and actually, I don't know if that is SBI or what, but Whiskey got out of it. Elf Thunder almost killing. Goes off and gets it. Sword definitely kills them. So in the beginning, Whiskey has kind of steamrolling Peru here, but now Peru is in a good place, but we've seen we've seen uh, Whiskey up against the wall before. Like, it's kind of crazy what they can accomplish. Till it's over, so... Yeah. Especially with one stock, one stock. Uh, got the can. My can was in a very precarious placement. Oh, man. Tries to get the upper that wouldn't have killed just yet, but... Back here coming in. Into the back here. Duck said no. Peru continues to push forward with the duck hunt. It's definitely a matchup check. Like, if you don't know how to fight this character, they can just feel really weird. <laughs> well, it, is, it does feel a little uh, strange fighting against duck hunt because you never really know what you're supposed to hit. Not only that, but like, that duck hunt players play differently as well. So. Because you know kind of what they do doesn't mean you know how to fight this duck hunt. 
Yeah, they do really feel intangible to battle mm. stage. All right, sticking with it. Let's see what happens. Three, two, Going on to small one, battlefield here. Let's hit our quarters here. Yep, change the scenery. We'll see some kind of uh, platform combos that come out as well. But, uh, and yeah. who benefits from the stage size of this uh, matchup? That's a good question. So, like, Whiskey did counterpick here, probably because they want to get some combos or potentially uh, just have the ability to be under the platform. Duck Hunt's not going to really be able to get in easily. I think it's... I can see it going either way, but I think it's really a preference thing. Um, Duck Hunt definitely does well in the bigger space. So having kind of this side, uh, having having it not, they probably ban smash. Right? So having this thing pretty close as a secondary then. Oh my god, that can! Are you kidding me? <laughs> All the way down. It just literally just a, it's like they just lobbed the ball and it just continued to go all the way there. It's like that one scene where the hero undoes the pin on the grenade and just watches it drop it just in their hands slowly. <laughs> Oh. oh my god. She got me that shield. Oh, actually, it's the L1 hit. Our fire just misses the ledge there. And was protecting him, though. Oh man. Just up. Oh, okay. Just misses the L win, but still gets a back air. They actually almost ran out of win, too. They yeah, did, yeah. That would have been bad. Up. Oh. Yeah, they are officially out of win. They got the charge up. So you saw it. They, oh, they managed to stall. Oh my god. I thought they wouldn't even have enough recovery. Managed to stall between the Nosferatu and all the other stuff just to get the win back, the book recovered. I think too, otherwise that would have been it. That's big, that's good. A little, little bit of heal. It is 25%, it actually makes a big difference between 100 and 150. Oh, neutral are coming out. We're back. My Peru just can't make it back, not save it. Right. Not for, excuse me, whiskey. Whiskey is just... Oh, man. Oh, that's big again. More heal. More damage. Indeed. And real close. Elf Elf the, thing that, the thing about Nosferatu is it's evening the playing field with you healing and them damage. Yeah, for sure. So it's a, like a net total of 40% rather than 20. Yeah. This though, Brew has the stock lead, but that duck, I don't know how long this dog's gonna live. This is Whiskey's potential tournament stock. They've gotta make something happen here. Okay, got the wind spike. Something. Oh, wow. Peru uh, completely enough. baited that. Peru pushed him out and then just lured him in. Take it a 3 0 here. Peru is moving on. Well fought. Well fought to Whiskey coming in here at fourth.